In this video, we're going to be talking about the power of the resizer in the XVS G1, which is a standard feature on every Kia. So to get started, I'm going to create a box. So I've got my key one here, which I've got this snowboarder clip on. You can see I have that set up, key one, clip two. So from the trackball area, I'm just going to play my clip and it's going to keep looping. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double punch to get to my menu. And then I'm going to stick the resizer on. And then I'm going to come down here because this is quite easy to use the utility module here just to resize that, make that smaller into a box. So then I'm going to come along the x-axis here, just move that along. And now, as I mentioned in the previous video, we can rotate. I'm just going to rotate this a little bit inwards. And then I'm also going to make a few other adjustments in the menu. So I'm just going to add a border. So I just change these values here in H and in V. There you see I've got a white border. And I'm just going to change the colour here. So you can see it's white because the luminance is all the way up. So I'm just going to bring that down to get this blue colour. And if I want to change my hue, I can do it here. Other border options are that you can have a beveled light edge, a beveled colour edge, which I quite like, so I'm going to keep it like that. And then one other thing I wanted to mention is that you can use the crop function, uh, which is really handy if you need to change the aspect for some reason, or perhaps you're unable to move the camera and you need to crop the camera. And then you can do that here. As you can see, I'm changing on the horizontal line there, and you can change on the vertical line as well. I'm going to put them back to default now because I want to have my whole box. So now I take that crop off. Now I want to create a second box and a quick and convenient way to do this, um, instead of building it all over again on another key, is to just copy key one and put that on my key two. So to do that, I come down in the menu here and I click on utility and you can see it's already set here to copy swap and then I'm doing keys. So, and I'm on key one and I want to copy that to program key two. So then I just hit copy and then you'll see if I take this key off and I turn key two on, it looks the same, which is not quite what I wanted. Um, so for key two, I'm just gonna change the clip to key three. It's my playing festival scene that's looping here. And I also want to move that along to the right, so I'm going to get my key two menu up, hit my resizer, and I'm just going to move that along. I'm going to put my key one on so I can see how that looks with that. And there, I'll put it somewhere like here and change the rotation on the X axis just to bring that inwards like so. Now that we have our two-way boxes, a common thing that you might be asked to do on a production is to bring one of these boxes full frame. So there's a really quick way and easy way to do this on the XPS G1, and that's to use snapshots and effects dissolves. So on this snapshot here, um, which I have set as two, I can then bring the snowboarder full frame by hitting five, and you see it does this sort of transition. And then I can come back into my two-way boxes and then I can bring my right hand box of the festival full frame and bring that back in smoothly. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. You'd start off by making a snapshot for this first state of the two way boxes. So you just hold down snapshot and hit an empty space. So I've chosen this to be number 11. Then what we want to do is bring the snowboarder full frame. An easy way to do that is to go into our trackball area here and then just clear the work buffer for this resizer. So it just goes back to its default state, which is full frame. So I've got my key one selected and I just hit clear work buffer. And now it's full frame, but we've still got this border on. 
So I'm going to go into the key one menu and go into border and I can't take the border off because otherwise the effects dissolve won't work properly. So I just need to turn all the values down to zero so it's hidden. So I can hit all, put it onto default and now that's gone. And then what I need to do is just save this state as another snapshot. So I'm just going to put it above 11 at 14. And if I want to get back to the original state of my two-way boxes, I can just hit 11 and I'm back there. So 11 is two-way boxes, 14 is full frame. But it's a bit jarring just cutting like that. So what we want to do is put an effects dissolve on. We can resave this snapshot, number 11, with an effects dissolve. Just hold down snapshot, hit effects dissolve here and save 11. Do the same with 14. Hold down the snapshot, hit that, and then 14. And now it goes between the two states. As you see there, when we flip between the two, it looks fine going from 11 to 14, but 14 to 11, this box with our festival in cuts on top. That's because our key priorities are wrong for the snapshot 11. So what we need to do is go back to this state, number 11, and then just go to the key two menu, go to priority, current key priority, and then you'll see two is on top when actually we want one to be on top. So now key one is priority one, key two is priority two. Now this should work smoothly. We go full frame on our snowboarder, and then we come back to two-way boxes. There are some other features of the resizer that I want to show you. So I'm going to turn off these boxes on key one and key two, and I'm going to turn on key three. That has got my golfer image. So I double punched key three to get into the key three menu. And then what I'm going to show you is how we can add some different effects. So we can add a mosaic effect. And if I change the parameters here, size, you can see it starts bringing a mosaic pattern and starts obscuring the image, which is something that you might want to do. Set that back to zero. Another feature is to defocus. And you can see that here. I'm, I'm blurring and then blurring my golfer completely. And one thing that is sometimes quite handy to be able to do is you might uh, be asked to obscure a logo or something like that in a production. So to do that, you might want to add a mask. And for that, we'll need to, it's already selected here, but you'll need to hit dual resizer effect. So that opens up this mask option down here. And then I click circle and you can see I have a circle here, which is blurred. And I've got the adjustments for that down here and showing up here. So I can then move along on the horizontal, move up, uh, adjust the size. And I'm just going to show you um, this example by blurring his head. Come down. And then I can make that soft, bring up the size a little. Now lastly, I want to demonstrate the power of the resizers on all eight keys on an ME. So I've set up on snapshots here and I trigger my snapshots into the starting position, which is all eight boxes off. And then I fly in my boxes. So you can see I've got a combination of clips and stills from all eight keys there and this is all on one ME and then using effects dissolves because I've put rotation in you can see they spin around and then I can bring key five full frame I can take it back to my eight box grid and then by hitting this snapshot here I can then fly out all eight boxes I hope this gives you an idea of what resizers on the XVS G1 can offer your production.